folks and welcome to this unboxing today that is of the original 2016 fingerlings so i bought these second hand from ebay and it only cost me £10.95 for two fingerlings and a little swing and there's a couple of reasons why i've got these it's because i got this brand new version of fingerlings that has just come out for 2023 which i unboxed a couple of days ago and i thought it would be interesting to compare the originals <laughs> next to this new version to see how different it is and another reason i got this is because i have meant to buy one of the original fingerlings for quite a while because i intend to do a custom on it and I'll tell you more about that later in the video. But now, without further ado, let's get this out of the box and have a look at it. So we've got one blue fingerling, one black fingerling, and a yellow swing. So here's our black fingerling. I believe that the ladies put some batteries in for me. Let's see. Yes. He's a lot quieter and less animated than the new one. Quite sweet though. And unlike the new model, he doesn't have a hinged tail. So whereas the new one can sit down, this one unfortunately can't. Also, the legs are shaped differently so that that allows the new one to sit down. Even if this one's tail was hinged, it wouldn't be able to sit down because its feet sort of will get in the way. However, that doesn't matter for me because I'm going to do a custom on this little fella. And here's our blue fingerling. Ah, oh, she's got a different voice. Mm. So that's interesting. So the new fingerlings, they've said that each one's got a different voice. But these two old fingerlings I've got have got different voices as well. So she's um So she's moving ahead and she's blinking. But this one is not blinking and he's not moving his head. He's only making sounds. So this little fella is not moving his head and he's not moving his eyes. Now I was going to do a custom anyway, but we'll have to take him apart to see what's wrong with him, why he's not moving his head and his eyes. I will try fresh batteries, but I'm pretty sure that the lady that sold them put fresh batteries in anyway. And this is the swing. And so we'll have to make a little stand for this to hook these onto. It's got a hole there for the tail to go through doesn't seem to be reacting to being swung on it though. Two doesn't seem to be re reacting to being swung either. Or oh, maybe she is. Yeah, she's enjoying it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now, one thing I wanted to find out was if the new fingerling will fit in the original swing I'm not sure if it will the tail tail fits in fine I'm not sure that it's quite as secure in there though maybe 
Yeah, she seems to like it as well. I managed to find the original instructions for the 2016 monkeys. So the on off switch is located on the back of the head, the same as with the 2023 version. It's got two capacitive touch sensors on the top of the head. And unlike the 2023 version, it's got a microphone. So that little blue one's got a good whistle. So the first thing you can do is you can blow air kisses to your monkey and the monkey will kiss you back. So we'll try that out. That certainly picks it up. Oh, that one kissed me back. The broken one. <laughs> Clap once or twice. Watch it monkey around. <laughs> One clap. <laughs> Tap your monkey's head for fun reactions. Upside down, explore your monkey's silly side. <laughs> so it seems to close its eyes when it's upside down. monkey's head your monkey will show you love <coughs> press and hold both sensors for a silly surprise you gotta hold them for two seconds So it breaks wind. And that one can also break wind. Cradle your monkey for sleepy reactions. So you can go to sleep. Yes. So that's all the functionality of these little monkeys. I will be doing a full comparison video of, of these original monkeys and the 2023 monkey. But first of all, I'll talk about the custom I'm going to do on this little fella. And you may have noticed that the eyes move slightly there. You managed to get this working a bit, Paul. Yeah, I think the mechanism's just become sticky. Maybe it's been left outside or had something spilt on it. Right, so you think that that's, that it's gummed up somehow? Yeah. So we're going to um, take this little fella apart mm -hmm. to have a check and see if you can see anything yeah. inside. Yeah. And the custom I've got in mind for this little monkey is to have a, a new body. Oh, he moved his head there. Mm. I think he was saying no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> So what I'm thinking is, because this little fella hasn't actually got any mechanics in the body, mm -hmm. it's all in the head, isn't it? I believe so, yeah. Um, so all the moving mechanisms in the head and and the 
moving mechanism for the eyes is in the head. Mm -hmm. And I would imagine all the circuit board and everything is in there as well. Uh, the body is in, is really just used to house the batteries. Yeah. So I was thinking because of that, I could make a custom sort of soft body. Oh, that's, that's, uh, with, sounds um, a nice idea. With poseable arms and mm -hmm. poseable mm -hmm. legs and poseable tail. I thought that'd be really nice. Still be a, a mechanical sort of anchorage in the in the body yeah thing. you can actually see that there's like a rod going down from mm -hmm. the middle yeah. of the head there's like a rod so that must be housed in in part in in the top part of this yeah which would be like a solid mechanical uh, um, sort of base for the shaft to go into so yeah. we'll be able to keep that base in the body in the soft body yeah in the soft body yeah i wouldn't think that that's very big no, I don't think it will be. So what else will you be doing in the custom, do you think? I think that would be about it. I mean, there would be the possibility of changing button cells mm -hmm. for... Um, something longer lasting, triple A's or something like that. Yeah, but obviously you don't want one triple A, you wouldn't want um, four. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's six volts, is it? Yes, so you would have to have some extra circuitry on there. It's like a boost converter. Mm. Mm. So... Um, would that be a big job, Paul? Um, I'm not sure that I know of any boost converters ready made that uh, will operate from a one and a half volts and boost up to six. But uh, it might be possible to uh, go to two small uh, lithium uh, polymer cells. Oh, that's an idea. Which would also yeah. be uh, rechargeable yeah. as well. Because some of those are really tiny, yeah, aren't Yeah, you can they? get them in small flat pat. Uh, and as flat. you say, that would mean it would be rechargeable as well, course, which yeah. would be really good. Mm. Well, he's certainly shaking his head now. His eyes aren't moving much, though. I wonder what it's gummed up with, Paul. Uh, I think something's been spilt on it, maybe. Or it's been left outside for a while. So do you think if... Um, if we did take this apart, you might be able to see yeah, remnants I'm sure if it, of something. I'm sure if it was cleaned out and put back together, it'd work fine, yeah. Oh, oh so we'll, we'll do that in a future video, folks. <coughs> this is so cute, isn't it? Mm, I really like uh, the noise these, yeah. this one makes. I think the new one's improved, and I know you're, you're going to do a comparison later, but um, the, this is the, the original ones are still pretty good. I, I find this sweeter than the blue one. Mm-hmm. Based on the noises it's making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, folks, that's all we've got time for in this video. I hope you'll join us in the next video where I'll do a full comparison of the 2023 monkey and these two original monkeys. And of course, I'm going to have that custom that I'll be doing in a future video. But that's all we've got time for in this video, folks. Thanks for watching as always and hope to see you next time.